notice something terribly wrong with this page. Something on there that shouldn't be, maybe some words that shouldn't be what they are. Today on JTV, I'm going to show you how to do just this. It's not a hack. It's a simple process using a free application called EdderCap. And you can get this by downloading the Backtrack Security Auditing Suite from Remote Exploit. And I'm just stopping everything here so I can start over. Now that I've stopped everything, let's go back to the website and look at what it's supposed to look like. It might take a little bit here. And here it goes. And we're going to go ahead and refresh it. And there we go. Now everything is back to normal. Now the process itself is actually very straightforward. The hardest part is designing the filter itself. And to do this, you can simply open up KEdit. As you can see here, I already have mine filled in. I'd like to thank Iron Geek and several other members of the community out there who came up with the original code for this. What this does is basically it listens on port 80 on the TCP and UDP protocols and it looks for the string src equals and replaces it with image source equals and then an image that I have up on my website. I also added another line that listens on TCP port 80 for the string images to replace it with, of course, porn. Then you save this, and then you go back to the command prompt, and you type in enter filter space filter.ecf space minus o space filter.ef, and then press enter, and it'll tell you if it successfully compiles it or not. You've just now created your first editor cap filter. Now I'm doing this on my own network with my own computers so I'm not violating anybody else's privacy. I would strongly recommend that if you're going to do this that you do it on your own stuff. So now we need to go ahead and load our filter. The first thing we do though is when we open up EdderCap we don't have anything inside of it. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to hosts and down to scan for hosts and it'll find all the computers on your network that it can. And then just as an extra precaution, even though I'm using one computer, I go into ARP poisoning under man in the middle attacks and I do sniff remote connections and press OK on that. Now we can go into filters, load filter, and then I'll need to go into the directory that you created your filter in. In my case it's the root directory and the filter.ef file is the one that we want. Now that filter is loaded and we'll go ahead and start sniffing and every time it performs the action it's going to let us know that it's done so. This is done by a message section in the script itself that you created with the filter. We'll go back to our web browser. As you can see everything looks fine but let's go ahead and refresh and we'll see that our images has been replaced and now a ungodly amount of yellow with me wearing my old hat. So it's a pretty simple process. Now there are some useful reasons that you would want to do this. One, you can use EdderCap as kind of like a proxy. So you could actually have it filter out certain words or images. Uh, you could set up very advanced filters and probably filter out file types. You can even set up redirects. So if somebody tries to go to one website, they end up at another one. So it's a very useful program. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do just about the opposite. Instead of changing images, we're going to watch the network for images to make sure people aren't doing something they're not supposed to. So that's been a short edition of JTV. Feel free to leave comments if I've done anything incorrectly or if you know an easier way to do it or if you just like to comment on the video. Thank you very much for watching.